hello and welcome back to another video this is my march monthly recap and first up here's everything i watched this month i went and saw dune 2 in the theater um i saw it in like the middle of the day in the middle of the week so the theater was empty and it was also a matinee I, like that's what middle of the day means duh anyways really cool i love sci-fi movies i love really um i don't know why there isn't a term for like you hear the term high fantasy this is i mean this is kind of a fantasy as well but like it's high sci-fi space opera really cool action scenes really cool story um i'm really interested to see how it develops um and like what happens next the movie was great i highly recommend it I will not be reading the books though. I will keep watching the movies. Um, okay, so next up, we've got Shogun. Um, I, first of all, I love FX. They make amazing movies and television shows, but like, just so good. And they've been making amazing stuff for so long. This show is so good. At the time of recording this, I am two episodes behind, but that's because I've had a really busy week and yeah, but it's so cool. It's so cool. I love the world building and the setting. Everything is amazing. Um, I love political action, um, sword fights. Just there's so many great things about the show. I highly, highly recommend you check it out um next up we've got death and other details uh another great show this one was really fun i started watching it at the beginning of the year but then i kind of fell off because i was watching something else that was absorbing all of my attention um and then i got back into watching this um I was obsessed. I love a fun murder mystery show, and this was a fun murder mystery show. Show. I really, really hope it gets renewed for a season two. It was great. I love the characters. I love the cast. I love how the story unfolded and all the mysteries and stuff. Yeah, I I can't say enough good things about it. Murder mysteries are so fun when they're not like based off of real stories. Like this is just fun highly aesthetic as well really cool okay it's on hulu next up we got wonka i saw this movie i believe the same week i saw dune i went it, i didn't go anywhere um i think i came home from dune and then i watched this on max or something like that anyways but it was really fun i don't understand why people were like mad about it being a musical I do get like they did not advertise it as a musical at all that is wrong but also like there was only a couple of musical songs it was really fun it was very much similar um not similar but like paying homage to the original where they were singing in that one as well it was a great watch it was really fun pretty I recommend it if you're looking for something relaxing and colorful and if you like musicals check it out so then we've got one day i i watched this movie years ago the one with anne hathaway when that came out it was so sad when i saw this on netflix it didn't click to me at first that it was the same story based off of the book oh my goodness i watched the first episode and i was like no i know where this is going i know what's gonna happen and i kept watching all the episodes and i was just loving these two characters they did such a great job and it was like this pit in my stomach the whole time watching it because i know how it ends and i think that the show is better than the movie just because so much happens and i think the show can explore more of yeah it can explore it more than the movie can it's on netflix i recommend watching it it's really great and then next up we've got poor things it's another movie that i watched i watched it at home on hulu 
it was really interesting like visually and like the concept of the character Bella um there is a lot of sex in it and I have mixed feelings about it um but outside of that Bella's journey as a character was really interesting to watch and I just it was I I don't know what to say about the movie I did enjoy watching it um again there was a lot of intimate scenes and I kind of got bored with those but check it out if you're into it or you're interested and of course we've got ready set love I made a whole video about this um I love this show I think this might be one of my favorite shows that I've watched this month it was just really fun and I enjoyed the plot and the story and the characters and the comedy of it and the drama they it, it just had a little bit of everything and a lot of bit of a bunch of stuff and it was done really well and I highly recommend it I also recommend you check out my other video where I go into a bit more detail about this show but yeah ready set love on Netflix 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 anyways okay it's on Netflix and um, I've lost my train of thought I cannot speak oh yes so I also watched quiet on set and We've been hearing whispers and things about, you know, stuff that happened on the set of Nickelodeon for years and like just like bits and pieces and comments that different like um, former Nickelodeon child stars have made. But like all I, I had no idea about some of this stuff and there were so many things that made me mad about how certain things were just allowed to go on or like just it it was a lot which is why it's so important that there are protections for children and not just children but like who are actors but also children these influencer children speaking of influencer children I'm so glad that I put these next to each other that was not intentional I watched this the same day that I watched quiet on set um there the children <sighs> I have so many I have thoughts and feelings on um like I said influencer children there needs to be protections in place if you are monetizing your child's image whether they're an actor or not you you should be held you you goodness I can't speak because I'm getting all worked up the same laws that apply to child actors in regards to those protections should apply to those children anyway that's a whole other topic of conversation but this story was crazy i'm not a fan of mommy blogs or family videos or things so this was new information to me and then going on to dream scenario nicholas cage this movie was so good it was so good and it's sad it has like a sad undertone so the premise is this guy he starts appearing in people's dreams like all over the world nobody knows why and he becomes like famous a little bit for it not a little bit a lot of bit for it but then weird stuff starts happening in the dreams and people start blaming him for it and he's like i'm not even doing anything your dreams and it it's it is so good it was it's a really good movie i think this is my favorite movie that i've watched this month it was so good so good recommend it it's on max uh yeah and then my weekly bullet journal favorites rapid fire week one here we go
they dropped the teaser they were so cute that's why they've appeared again That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Have a great night. Bye.